Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So, as of right now, uh, Condor 2 is currently chasing down another UFO. Who they caught. Auto resolve and head back, but... Okay, before we send anybody out, we actually need to assign some new people because our dropship is missing a couple dudes. So, let me see. What is our team missing? Uh, assaults. I don't know how I feel about the shotguns, to be honest. I, I kind of feel like the rifles are just better. Oh, you're an assault. Oh, right, we lost an assault and a rifle. Um, and we got two unassigned rifles who... I'm just going to leave them as riflemen. Ah, you're carrying too much stuff, though. All right, you need to ditch something. There. We don't want, we don't want them to be over their weight limit because that means they lose action points per turn. All right, you guys are all going in Charlie 1. Uh, you are injured, but not too badly, so you should be fine. Let me actually just make sure everyone else is under their carry limit. Yeah, they're all fine. All right, and then I actually want to move them around a little bit in the dropship here. So let's see. Shotgun, rifle, 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 or sniper. Rifle, rifle, machine gun. There we go. That's a little bit better layout. All right. And we're going to send them out to crash site 02. Hop to it, boys. So at some point, um, we're going to have to start escorting our helicopter places because the aliens will come and try to shoot it down, which can be a pain. Um, it's usually only a problem once you're outside of your, like if you're going to things outside your radar range. Oof, night mission. Mm. I wish there was an easy way to avoid these, like, um, because they really, they put your guys at a detriment, and it's better to just not do them. But, uh, unfortunately, there's no, there's no way to, A, tell when a crash site is going to be at night, and there's no way to order people to wait until nightfall, or wait until dawn. So, you just kind of have to, you know, sometimes you just end up doing them. There's not a lot you can do about it. Okay, just get everybody out here. Take a look around. Oop, I didn't move it far enough. Just get an idea for what we're looking at. Alright, so that's the edge of the map. Uh, this is also the edge of the map. Alright, so we got that eliminated at least. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Uh, I guess you guys don't even need to go out there. You have a shotgun, so you're going to go over here. All right, there's a bunch of, like, law enforcement people around the place, so we don't need to be too concerned right now. But I just want to keep people in cover in case the aliens, you know, move over here. Oh. Oh, I should have had you move a different way. Oops. My bad. Uh, where do we need to check? Wait, is this? Yeah, that is the edge of the map. Okay, so you guys are going to go down here. I don't trust this alleyway. I don't trust this at all. All right, we're going to wait until next turn to do that. You're going to bring uh, Giuseppe with you there. You guys. Okay, there's the, the security guard or police officer over there. Should provide you with a little bit of extra security. There you go. Just keep an eye on things. Is that everybody moved? That's everybody moved. <laughs> Well, at least now we know where a couple of the aliens are. Uh, I am pretty sure the aliens have better night vision than we do. I'm not actually positive on that. Ah! If memory serves, the lizards actually have really terrible eyesight. Like, that's one of their things. So... Alright, you guys are gonna watch over here. Um, but it's not necessarily the lizards we're fighting this time, so... Do you have to keep an eye on that. You are gonna keep... There, just make sure you have enough action points for things uh okay good this little area is clear hmm yeah keep going around this way because i don't think we need to check that building over there okay yeah stop stop there that's fine and then machine gunner come over here just watch that way perfect all right you guys are okay where you are we need to find the guy that's over here. 
Okay, you guys are gonna have to run because there's like no cover here. Okay, aliens somewhere through that gap, I think. That's where we're shooting from. What about you? What am I gonna do with you? Can you make it over there? You cannot. You can make it here, which is half cover. Less than ideal, but better than getting shot, I suppose. Just keep your head down. Everybody crouch. Crouching's great. Um. Hmm. All right, Lindbergh, you can run to here, and then watch this way, and then. Pavlova is just gonna watch your back, and I think that's everybody moved. <laughs> Ow! Okay, it's the lizards again. Hi. Can I even shoot you? I can. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, Lindbergh needs some medical attention though, so he's gonna get down, and Zana Pavlova. Book it over here. Uh, she cannot. Okay, so. Drop rifle. Med kit. Okay, she doesn't have enough action points to switch to that yet, so he's going to have to wait a turn. We should be okay. We just got to watch out for this guy over here. Um, he doesn't have a great shot, though, so I think we'll be fine. I don't know what to do with Lindbergh right now, so I don't really have a better position for him than where he is. Right, you guys. All right, get up here. Just check around that corner. Okay, you're good. I don't want to take cover on the fuel tank. That seems like a bad idea. And we found the other corner of the map, which is good. So just over here. Perfect. And you are going to sit kind of behind him. It doesn't really matter where you sit because once you've moved like 10 feet, you can no longer shoot. Um, but I don't want you guys clustered up behind the car, so just hang out there. Right, you. Uh, Perez is going to stay here and cover this, but Baros can move up. Baros can move up to somewhere where he can still shoot. There we go, that's perfect. Hello. Ah, shoot, that blocks my line of sight. Mm, okay, so Perez is actually in a bad spot. Oh, we have uh, flares as well that we can throw at things. Okay, Baros, you're going to get here, and you can, I mean, you know that guy's there, but you can't actually do anything about it, but Perez comes here, there we go, she can take a shot, <laughs> miss entirely, and then run back into cover, you can't hit him either, but if you shuffle up here, there we go, you still can't hit him. Okay, that's, uh, we can throw grenades, but as in, uh, as in the, you know, recent XCOM games, the, your assistants get upset with you if you blow things up. Okay, everybody just kind of get up to a position where you can see this dude. Try and keep an eye on him. I'm worried about those windows there, though. I don't think there's anyone over there, but there could be. All right, is that everybody moved? That is everybody moved. He's running for it. We get to shoot at him. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, he, oh, hello. Welcome to close range. That was bold. Uh, you guys are in an open field. I don't really like that, but I need you to check this place out so that we know there's nobody over here. You can come up here and just cover down this way. Is there a, there's just a big wall there. All right. Well, that's good. There's very. It looks like there's very few ways out of where the aliens started, which is kind of ideal. Uh, you are just going to run up here. Okay, so this whole area is walled off. This is good. Now we know we don't have to worry about like this section. Uh, what we do need to worry about is the alien spaceship is right there. And there's an alien. Hi. Okay, so if you come up here. Can you crouch and do that? Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. Do that. 
good hit. Okay. Uh, can you also shoot at him? You can. Oh, wow, 94% hit chance. Nice one. Good hit. And Perez cannot. Okay, that's fine. Perez can instead run up to here and crouch and then do this. Good. Okay, that's another one down. Uh, you now need to... Actually, you can heal yourself, right? That's the thing you can do in this game. I don't need to have other people heal you. There we go. Okay, so we got a little bit of health back. And Pavlova can go around this corner. Okay, there's no aliens here. Okay, there's a wall there. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, I don't trust it, though. It's open and there's very little cover here. Okay, we're just going to move along a little ways. And then get down. And you need to get your shotgun back. There we go. And then not do anything, because you actually can't really move any further. Alright, you remove aliens. Okay, there's one more hanging out by the spaceship. The other hidden movement could be civilians, so just because there's a bunch of hidden movement doesn't necessarily mean there's a bunch of aliens around. Alright, let's go check down here. Just chuck a flare. Oof. Use all my action points for this. And we missed. Okay, well, we eliminated, or eliminated that uh, little section down there anyways. Alright, come down here. There we go. You can just cover down this hallway, uh, Giuseppe. I... It would be incredibly bad luck for there to be an alien in this little, like, dead-end section down here, but I wouldn't put it past the game, so... Alright, now that we know where the spaceship is, uh, Perez has a pretty good line of sight to it, so that's good. There's not really anywhere better for us to set her up, so she's gonna stay where she is for pretty much the rest of this. Um... I'm going to send Mitchell and Johnson to check out this place. Probably should have Mitchell go first. He has a little bit shorter route, but whatever. Okay. Um, Barros, you're going to stay with Perez, so you can set up here. You should be fine. You don't have enough action points to shoot anything, but that's okay. And then you guys are... We need to check this building out, but the doors aren't open. So I think we're actually okay to just scoot along right to the edge. And just get a look around the corner there. Oh, that's not the edge. Okay, shoot. Well, I don't want to move her any further because then she won't be able to uh, aim, like, backwards. Okay, you're going to come... Let's see. One, two... Yeah, you should be good there. I want someone watching this door. <laughs> Just in case. Alright, good. You can still shoot. Perfect. And that's Perez, who's done. Hi. Good shot, Perez. I don't know why they do I don't like I don't know why the aliens run back and forth in front of the doors like that. They do it like frequently though. It's like they're they they just do that all the time. Okay, a little bit further down this way, just to get Vision. Okay, that should be the end of that. Yeah. Alright, so we know this whole little section here is clear. And you can... Alright, you're, I guess, fine where you are for now. Just crouch. And Giuseppe's gonna aim over your shoulder, even though he can't shoot right now. Okay, time for these guys. Check this corner. All good. Check this corner. It's a dead end. Uh, the interior of that room looks clear, but we can't see this back corner here, which is concerning me. So go check that. Yeah, that room's all clear. Okay. And Mitchell, you're going to watch down here. I don't like that, uh, I don't like this area here. Okay, for now I'm going to trust that that room is relatively clear. And you guys are fine. You guys have not yet moved. Okay, this is the corner of the building, and also the corner of the map up there. Alright, so the last place we really need to check is this room back here. So let's double back, get in position. Okay, I think, I think we're okay. 
Yeah, all right. This uh, this building is clear. All right, so we just need to deal with the guy who's in the thing, who might actually just get himself killed by running in front of uh, Perez again. So you know, we can hope. And then Baros is helping Perez. All right, everybody's moved. Who needs to? He opens the door. All right, lizards. Lizards heal. Um, every turn they heal a little bit. I forgot about that. Okay, how to sort out this guy is the question. Well, for now, let's just make double sure there's no one around. This is a game where paranoia is a good trait. And you guys can just come through here. Um, Lindbergh, I guess, is going to be the one who... Actually, Lindbergh should probably just stay clear because he's a little bit injured. There we go. Alright, and you guys just need to check. Hello, there's another alien. Uh, hmm. What to do about that? If I move, he's probably going to shoot at me. But if I instead... Nope, that's not what I want to do. If I instead... Oh, right, I need to do that. There we go. Please don't miss. There. Okay, good. He doesn't really get a chance to shoot now, which means Giuseppe. There we go. In position to shoot him next turn. Perfect. Uh, can anybody else see this guy? No. And I don't want to move you too, because you're watching that door. All right. Let's see how this turns out. He's going to probably try and shoot, but he's suppressed, so that's fine. That guy will take another shot from Perez, but she missed. We really need to get the door, like, actually open so we can do things. Here, just put him down. Here. Not quite. Okay. Get your rifle out. And you... How far can you move and still burst fire? Not very, but close enough. You know, I'm probably better off just doing the aim shot while he's suppressed. Go. Uh... Yeah, I can't move you to a better spot, so you're staying where you are. All right. Nope, that's not what I, I wanted to select that guy. I should really just be doing people in order. Okay, this whole area over here seems clear. Uh, we've already killed, what, three guys? One, two... I think there's only four. I'm not confident on that, though. So let's be a little bit cautious about this. Can we move to on the side of the ship? Okay, so that's the space that we can be on. All right, Mitchell. You guys are covering over here. Make sure that's empty. You guys are getting up here. Get ready to kick in that door. Anything else that needs to be done? Not really. Gotta hope that suppressed guy doesn't, uh... Nice! Shot Perez. That was a lot of damage. Oof. Yeah, he can still get lucky even while he's suppressed. Alright. Try to take him down with another burst of machine gun fire. Wow. Rick Giuseppe. Uh, you can move to... here. And still be able to shoot at him accurately. Should just crouch first. There you go. Miss. Okay, he's suppressed, but they're both in cover, so that's fine. Hmm. God, getting doors open is such a pain. The problem is, like, I want to stand next to it and then open it. Actually, if I scoot over to here, then you can actually stay where you are for now. I'm going to open this door and then shoot this dude. Okay, good. That actually worked out pretty well. Uh, now we just need to deal with this last guy over here, which I guess is for those dudes to do. So there's two ways to win missions in Xenonauts, um, or at least the, the alien, the crash site ones. Uh, you can either kill all the aliens, or if you hold on to, like, if you have guys inside their spaceship, and none of the aliens are in it for three turns, I think you win. So usually it's a good idea to just put one of your guys in the spaceship once you clear it. Uh, just in case you, like, can't find the last alien. Alright, you guys, I guess, are just gonna look around, see what you can find. I'm not super concerned there's another guy around. I just, you know, 
Doesn't hurt to be thorough. Okay, anything else to do? No, I don't think so. Okay, that guy didn't even do anything this time. Just fine by me. Yes. Okay, but he's suppressed. There we go. Mission over? Mission over. Okay. Oh, and we got four people promoted. And three people injured. Oof. Surviving local forces is terrible. Uh, both of the police officers died on, like, turn one. There was nothing I could have done about that. Like, they they were just positioned, like, standing in the open in front of the aliens. There was no way I could have saved them. All right. No worries. Let's, uh, let's head back to base. Here we go. That'll sort itself out. We're really just waiting for the alien invasion research to finish. There it is. Uh, alien invasion. You've probably already noticed we're being invaded, Commander, so I won't state the obvious. The situation is bleak. None of the major powers are able to defend their own airspace, let alone protect the rest of the planet. It seems things are up to us. My team stands ready to help. There may only be a handful of us, but some of the finest minds on the planet are at work in your laboratories. This organization offers a certain freedom from intrusion that appeals to those of intelligence. The key to beating our enemies is to understand them. We are keen to study an extra any extraterrestrial equipment you can recover from the battlefield. In the meantime, we have been gathering intelligence on the size and composition of the alien fleet orbiting our planet. Mostly images and data obtained from orbital satellites or ground-based observatories. Given the depressingly disjointed response from the rest of the planet, this is probably the most in-depth study of the invasion to date. We've conclusively identified over 3,000 separate UFOs in orbit around the planet, with several times that amount of additional probable signals. The fleet is comprised of craft of various sizes. The UFOs already sighted entering our atmosphere represent the smallest orbital signatures detected, while the largest signals identified appear to be enormous warships with dimensions rivaling that of modern aircraft carriers. A glimmer of hope remains. The alien craft seem poorly suited to atmospheric flight. Our interceptors may enjoy some early successes against superior extraterrestrial vessels simply due to better adaptation to the combat environment. This may also explain the appearance of only relatively small craft in the skies above our planet. Our scientists theorize that the aliens will have to modify their craft to enter our atmosphere. The larger the craft, the longer this will take. If they are correct, the larger craft will only appear in the later stages of the invasion. Perhaps this will afford humanity, read us, enough time to organize a more effective defense. I have two recommendations, that we consider supplementing our existing F-17 F Condor aircraft with heavier interceptors capable of carrying more powerful weapons, and that we investigate some form of battlefield support vehicle to aid our soldiers when securing crashed alien craft. Both proposals are already on your desk. Okay, so now we can research things. Um, these are the things we can, we can research these. Uh, they just tell us more about the weapons, and they kind of lead into the weapon development stuff for Xenonauts. But what we really want at the start, as far as I can remember, is the high-speed interceptor, which gives us a new aircraft that is very useful and actually necessary to get some of the alien, uh, to get some of the UFOs shot down. So we're going to start on that one and have all our scientists work on it. Other things we can do is not a whole lot right now. We should probably hire some extra soldiers, because right now we have, excuse me, we have the helicopter full. But if anybody goes down, we're going to be out. So we should probably just fill up our living space with soldiers. Actually, we'll get a few. So who's got good stats? You do. Um, hmm, not great. All right, so I'll grab you three for now. There we go. Um, what else do we need to take care of? I don't think anything else really... We could construct some new stuff in our base, but there's nothing... Oh, medical center. We actually we actually need a medical center. That's what we need. Uh, just throw that in there. Later on, we're probably going to want um, extra hangers. Actually, we should get an extra hangar now, because we're going to be researching the interceptor, and I'm going to want two of those hanging around. So we'll throw an extra hangar in here. Uh, the garage is only really useful if you bring the scout cars. And I'm sure the scout cars are useful on some missions. I guess we should have one. But it's not really worth bringing all the time, because they take up a bunch of slots in the helicopter, and they can't, like, go inside buildings or things if you're looking for aliens. So we will throw down a garage. Yeah, I guess, I guess here is fine. And then we should be fine without everything else for the moment. Building more radar arrays just increases the range, and missile batteries help us stop the aliens from uh, assaulting our bases, or at least they, they cause damage to the aliens before they assault your base, which is quite handy, but we're not worried about that at the moment. 
Anything else to take care of? No, I don't think so. And uh, honestly, that seems like not a bad place to call it for an episode. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.